we as a student council decided um, at LifeFest this past year that um, God was really calling us to sponsor a child. And so we checked out the um, Compassion booth and we started reading through um, the names of these kids and their stories and looking at some of their pictures. And we came up with the idea that we should, as a student body of our entire school, we should come together and sponsor a child. We, we realized that this could really change that person's life and we wanted to give everyone a taste for it, hoping that they would be inspired by it and go out and um, either sponsor their own child or we also, in a small group, sponsored another child just from the experience and the joy that we get from sponsoring a child. We picked out a little boy named Francisco. He lives in Santa Ana, El Salvador, with his father and mother in extreme poverty. He's four years old, and with the help of us in our school, um, we will be providing him school, food, and just a normal living life. We're trying to give this kid um, that's in poverty a life similar to ours and help him know that he's loved and that um, God loves him as well. We also hope that it really emphasizes the um, idea of um, service and community and giving that is the Eagle Way, our school's motto for this year. We hope that it um, that it teaches kids some stewardship. Um, I know for for us at least in our small group, it's um, we put some of our tithe money towards that. So it's it's kind of a multifaceted project. Compassion International is a nonprofit organization. They um, go out to all over the U.S. the world to ask people like us to. Um, sponsor children from all over the world who are in poverty and who we can help out um, paying for their school or their um, family help out with um, with them getting out of poverty and what they're in and help improve their lives. Um, this uh, compassion helps all the children all over the world from Africa to El Salvador to um, Japan, it's um, all countries and all those who need help. We have a couple of different um, techniques that we're using right now to raise the money. Um, the biggest thing we've found out so far is awareness. Um, we're trying to get uh, everyone in the school to know what we're doing and to try to establish the same relationship with the kid that we have. And so, um, in order to do that, Brianna did a presentation the other day. We've been um, posting the letters that we get from him um, up in the school and just trying to make that connection with students. Um, we also have, at break time when we sell candy, we have a jug there that students can donate their spare change. We, have, we take offerings every once in a while during the chapel. It comes down to about $5 per student per year to sponsor this child, which isn't much when you think about it. That's three sodas that the student gives up the entire year, or five candy bars. So we're, we're trying to make it something that's easy to do, but that you can still get that relationship with the child. Our commitment is as long as compassion will let us sponsor this child. Um, we as juniors will be going out in two years and the freshmen coming in will keep taking on the job to sponsor Francisco and help raise awareness for the school to raise the funds for Francisco as many years as so The Eagle Way is kind of the main big code of conduct that we have at our school and it involves several aspects, one of which is service. We believe that this is um, important, an important uh, route of service that's very global. We're making connections across the globe and um, serving others and showing them the love of Christ, which we think is really important. Um, that is the Eagle Way. So if all this sounds interesting to you, there are ways that you can help us out as well. We, um, 
We're trying to build eventually a family of kids for our school to make it a little bit more um, personal, maybe a kid per each grade or something like that, a kid per advisory group or a group of advisory groups. Um, we're, we're trying to really extend this program. Um, but meanwhile, we also need support for the kid that we have now. Um, any donations are welcome. And also encouragement, encourage your children and um, encourage those around you to go and help out. Another thing that you could do is um, sponsor your own child. Um, the experience that we've had with it so far has been amazing. Um, starting to build their relationship with the kid is, is really, it's really special. They start to feel like your own child or your brother and sister.